Some insider tips on how to make sure your next trip to the nail salon is safe and clean. Our friend Becky Ruler brings us an undercover investigation into the kinds of places you should avoid and what you need to know before making your next appointment. To find out how dirty and dangerous nail salons can be, okay, we're going to go in right now with a hidden camera. Our friends at 2020 went undercover. This woman takes a cotton ball with nail polish remover, uses it on herself, and then on the client. Ew. Next, files and buffers should be brand new every time. But see what looks like white chalk here? That's a previous client's dead skin being rubbed all over a new client. Major no-no. But worst of all, illegal instruments. This razor, called a Credo Blade, it's banned in at least 45 states. The dirty secrets of an unsafe salon aren't always so obvious. So Didi Crossett, dean of the San Francisco Institute of Aesthetics and Cosmetology, says your best bet is to look for an immaculate salon. So this is where I get my mani patties, Isabella's. Her first tip, come early. Coming early is a great idea. You can sit back, check out the salon. Are they taking 10 minutes between each guest? It takes about 10 minutes for the disinfectant in the tubs to break down bacteria like staph. It also takes time to get new, clean tools. And about those tools, here's a little secret. So, if they dip the tool into the blue stuff and then immediately take it out and use it on me, that's a no-go. That's a no-go. It should be rinsed, completely dried, and then taken on to the guest. Now, when you sit down, Attention. This is also a proper setup because she's got a um, sanitary maintenance area and this is this towel is down to protect you. And look closely at the instruments. So one dead giveaway would be if your buffer and your nail file were inside the disinfectant pouch because there's no way that those items would have been properly disinfected in a steamed autoclave, they would have turned to mush. Finally, one of the best indicators of safety, the price. So if you look at the price, and it's a $6 manicure, the math doesn't add up. They're going to have to skip something somewhere. The final insider tip, it's counterintuitive, but don't shave your legs before you come. If you have cuts or nicks, it's an open door for infection. Go ahead and come in with a little bit of stubble. It's OK. They don't care. Get your pedicure, then go home and shave. For Good Morning America, Becky Worley, ABC News, San Francisco. Becky Worley on the case. Mm -hmm. All kinds of good advice there. We asked you guys what you we thought. Did. What do you look for in a good nail salon? And Janice Reem says, I would tell anyone to look for the technician's license. In most states, it must be in plain view along with their picture. Very smart right there. Yeah, Always look for it. Mm -hmm. Another one here from Monique. She says, I like the places that provide individual nail kits for each of their customers. It's pricier, but worth it to know that my cuticle nippers <laughs> just clip off someone else's uh, fungus. I, I, I actually yes. think that's a, a, a great piece of advice, and I would even say go to a drugstore and make your own kit, mm -hmm. bring it to your favorite salon, and leave it there for peace of mind. I think that's a great that makes piece a lot of, of sense. Yeah, I love this last one that came in. Laura Roman advises, don't take personal calls while doing my nails. That's, oh, you know, I've yeah. never seen that done. Really? <laughs> It's usually the person that's having their nails done <laughs> right. that they're, they're making the call. Will they that let you keep sense. your own equipment there? Yeah, yeah, most places will. Really? If you ask them, they'll let you. Uh, they'll have a little spot for you to do it. For this very reason. I was this place in Connecticut this weekend. Really? And they do. And it oh, does. let me see. Yeah, see there, a little oh, French. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> got, a, got, a, got a book tour coming up, so I thought, <laughs> yeah. I, thought, I, thought I would do it. Beautiful but and it's clean. true. But you do. You need to be aware. Ask questions, and there's some great salons that are out there and they'll help you. Looking forward yeah. to all that. I, and you, I wish you could have heard behind the scenes these two debating what was more uh, masculine, the manicure or the pedicure. For the men. Yeah.